I'm Idris Elba. Bit, 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 bit. I'm an actor, writer, director, DJ, influencer, producer, rapper, comedian, kickboxer. I'm Idris Elba. I'm Idris Elba. I'm Idris Elba. I mean, it's so good. Okay, that is a parody, but it's just making a point that we all know. Idris Elba is a modern-day Renaissance man. The latest addition to his resume stars in the new film Luther, The Fallen Son. And for the last 10 years, he's played Detective Chief Inspector John Luther on that hit BBC show. Now, Luther is a movie. Let's roll a clip back. Subject one is using a mobile. Standing by. Over. Who is this? You know who it is. Boom! Okay, we're in. It just Alva, good morning. So good, good to see morning. you. Good morning. Good to see you. That, that clip gets me every time. I'm like, come on, I'll be Giselba. <laughs> It's so good. We're talking about, no, we're not talking about Luther. We're talking about the BBC parody. Yes. It's yes. my favorite. You have to watch. You've seen it then. I've seen it. Yes. It's so funny. I've seen it. I've tried to, try to, you know, stop it. Like, hey. <laughs> but they're making the point that you kind of do it all. I think we talk, I mean, you're an actor, you're a director, you're a philanthropist, you're an activist, you're a DJ. You're at your butt. I know. I'm an only child. You know, I had an active <laughs> imagination as a child, so here I am. And you're a fashion designer. Well, I mean, that's a stretch. I did design something I wore on a, on a Carpet. Well, let's roll it. I'm glad you brought it up. This uh -huh. is the Luther premiere. Uh -huh. You are wearing Idris Elba. Wow. There he is. I mean, you designed the suit. That's really cool. So, uh, my mom's name's Eve. My dad's name's Winston. And this collection is called Eve of Winston. Oh, wow. You know, I'm working at it. <laughs> I mean, you do it all and you sew your own clothes. Well, I didn't sew those, <laughs> I promise you. I just sketched them. I said, I really want to look like this. <laughs> oh, what does it mean to bring Luther to the, the big screen? I mean, it really is sort of dreams come true, you know? Like, I've been working that character for 10 years. I love that character. It's the one character I keep coming back to. Yeah. I we always wanted to take it to a much larger scale, you know? We wanted to take it to the movies, and uh, and here we are. I'm so proud of it. Well, I mean, it, it'll, it, there's really sky's the limit in where this mm. can go. I mean, mm. it can be a franchise, can it not, yeah, Luther? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, Luther's always been in London, what we call Lutherland. Yeah. But now I think we can transpose him to New York, maybe, to Africa, to Chile, who knows? Yeah, you've got the tweed coat, the iconic tweed coat. Yes. Is there just one? Or, like, how do they do that? So, no, there's actually probably about 20 of okay. them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yeah, just because of the stunts. And you sewed them all, didn't I, you? I did. Yes. I did not. Constantly no, did. at that sewing machine. Um, so, what's going on with life? How are the kids? How's good. everybody? Everyone's good. My, my kids are great. My daughter's living in London with me now, finishing her last year of school. I mean, it's been a busy time, you know. I was just here. I know. Are you sick of me yet? Okay. We have to stop meeting like this. <laughs> People will talk. You've got the, the skincare line with your wife, yeah. Sabrina. Yeah, Sable. Yeah. yeah. That's good. I read an interview with you recently, and I love the way you talked about your parents, speaking of Winston and Eve, and yeah. your, your background and your the influence that Sierra Leone has had on yeah. you. Yeah, Tell me about that. You know, I went back to Sierra Leone three years ago for the first time. I say back was the first time, and it was such a homecoming. My dad's from Sierra Leone. Yeah. My mom's from Ghana. And so, you know, I've been to the continent many, many times, but Sierra Leone was the first time. And it was just like, it was a real welcoming. Um, the president made me an ambassador of the country. Oh, wow. and, and it's, you know, it's, it's always been one of the poorest countries and countries that has faced a lot of adversity from Ebola to civil war. But the people are really good people. There's a lot of love there. There's a lot of welcome in there. And so I've been trying to bring projects there. Yeah. Uh, I've been working on this. Uh, sort of tourism project. There's an island off the coast of Sierra Leone called Shebro. It's beautiful, 90 miles of beachfront. Wow. And I'm trying to bring, you know, a film studio there and some tourism there and ecotourism. So. Well, you really do do it all. Um, <laughs> I had, did not know this about you, but apparently everyone does, but maybe not our viewers, mm. that you got your start with a, um, a, a grant from the Princess Trust. I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. From Prince Charles. Tell yeah. me about that. Yeah, I was probably about 18, 19 years old, and I was auditioning for this uh, thing called the, the Music... Uh, what was it called? The National Music Theatre. Yeah. OK? And it was for kids. It was a professional show. But you needed to pay for it, you know, subsidize it. And I didn't have the money. My parents didn't have the money. So someone said to me, hey, do you know what the Princess Trust is? I was like, no. And it was like, well, Prince Charles has this trust. I auditioned for it. And then, you know, five weeks later, I got a check in the post for, like, 1,500 pounds. And that put me into that National Youth Music Theatre. 
And that literally was the beginning, you know? Yeah. It's, do, I mean, when you think about something like that, I mean, it's pretty incredible how, like, the road, one, one change like that Absolutely. sets you off on this path. Yeah. That's why, like, you know, I, I, I spend a lot of time trying to give back in that same potential, you know, like... Uh, my wife and I now have the Elba Hope Foundation, where we're sort of focused on youth empowerment. You know, trying to give people an opportunity, just like I was given an opportunity, so. Yeah. Mm. Well, we have, um, I just have to show you, we have, I think she was the first person here, Hoda. Yes, is it Kelly? Okay, <laughs> Kelly and Sean. <laughs> All you just got to do is wave. It's just, they're right over here. What's yes. up? How are you? She was here at what, four o'clock in the morning? Really? Yes, to see <laughs> you. Speak. You came this um, morning to see me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and does she not have the greatest husband in the world? See you know what I'm saying? Yes. I want to give you a hug. Is that possible? Oh my God. Come, come on, come on. Let's come do this. on over. Yeah, let's do this. Now, are you, are you really cold? Quickly. Oh, he said quickly. Man. What's up? How are you? Wow, so nice to meet you. What's up, brother? How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Wow. We huh? love it. Just, oh, yeah, yes. we'll get a picture in a little bit. Yes. Right. See, it was good, worth coming in this early, right? Oh, yes. And yes, you're yes. a good husband. Thank you. Oh, it's thank nice you. to meet you. Happy thank International you. Women's Day as well. Thank you. Thank you. I admire your work so much. Thank you very much. You're the best. Yes, you oh, are. Wow. Idris Elba. You are. You are. <laughs> Luther, the Fallen <laughs> Sun, streams on Netflix this Friday. Always a pleasure. Will you come back like every six months? Yeah, yeah. Or more often. I've got stuff to, to, to sell all the time. I know you do because yeah. you're I'm Idris Elba. Elba. <laughs> yes. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.